Anyway, Ma- Max, congratulations. Get to work, and uh, we'll talk soon. Yes, sir, we will. All right. Right now, Thank Vince, you. we're going to go back up to Caldwell, Idaho, yes. my friend. Yes, Caldwell, Idaho, Mr. V's Family Restaurant with the manager, Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. Uh, good morning. This is actually uh, the other manager, uh, Nick Lyons. Nick. He got me on the phone. Okay, Nick. So, so what's going on? So you 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 know you got an Arizona invasion up there, and uh, with Ottawa University coming to play, uh, what can you tell us about uh, about College of Idaho? Um, well, we're you know we're, we're a new program started um, up about six years ago. Um, we had a zero year where the guys would uh, practice. And you know, beat themselves up, but they didn't play a game, and so uh, that kind of was the start of uh, the College of Idaho football team. And the past couple of years, it's been just growing and growing. Now, are you guys open right now for breakfast? Do you have people there already? Are you going to have yeah. uh, some fans coming in watching the game today, having some lunch today? What's going on there? Um, so we do. Have, we we open at six o'clock here. Um, we don't really we don't have anyone come through to to watch the games. There's uh, some other local place that that hosts the games, but. Um, we do have a lot of fans that come in and they get breakfast before the games and um, after the game they'll come in and probably get some dinner. What what's Caldwell known for? Is there like something? I mean, obviously people talk about Idaho potatoes, but is there anything that Caldwell you know is is particularly known for that you want to promote just to help promote the tourism? Yeah, what's so the we claim to send, fame there? We want to send people up there. Um. Well, the biggest thing we're you know Caldwell's a, a growing growing little city out here, so. It's not as big as, you know, Boise. Yet, You're what, 30 minutes yeah, outside of Boise, right? Yes, 30 minutes outside of Boise. Okay. So, uh, is there, you know, what, is the 4-H club big up there? What do you guys, uh, what do, you guys do? What do you got? Um, we, have, we have a lot of going on. So, out in Meridian, which is um, right next downtown to, or right next to Boise, there's um, this thing called The Village. And that's kind of like, like a little shopping center people go to. And um, just, a, just a growing little town out there. And. Uh, people go down there from Caldwell, from Nampa, which are all neighbor, neighboring cities. So ma- the, all the main stuff out in Meridian and Boise, that's where all the, the big main things are at. What's Mr. V's Family Restaurant uh, most known for? We are known for our biscuits and gravy. Ooh. Oh, boy, they're delicious. Yeah, yes, you sir. hit me yes, right sir. where it hurts. I was a little hungry. Now I'm really yeah, hungry, yeah. fans. Biscuits and gravy. Wow. Another question for you, Jesus. Now we're going to put you on no, the no, spot a little Nick. bit. Nick. Oh, Nick. I'm yeah, sorry, Nick. Nick. We're going to put you on the spot a little bit here, but uh, what is your prediction for today's game? Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, we come know it's going to be Ottawa all the way. <laughs> Ottawa University. Oh, uh, well, I'm actually a part-time coach at C of I as well. So. Oh, really? Oh, okay. What do you coach? Yes, sir. Wow. I coach the DBs. Nice. See, we have a we have a uh, we have a, a head high school football coach here from Verado. You guys want to recruit down here? You know, maybe uh, Coach Copeland, you could send some kids up to Idaho. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're always looking for some guys. I mean. Don't send them to Ottawa. Send them to Ohio. <laughs> That's it. Wow, DBs. So tell us about the DBs, Coach Lyons. Um, we we got a good group of guys. We're young, and uh, they're they're just athletes out there. I mean, they're out there making plays, and got a couple freshmen playing for us, and it's, it's been a great year for the DBs this year. How much of the OUAZ spirit have you got to see? Obviously, I'm sure you've been watching a lot of film this week, but besides this week and before that, how much have you got to see of this team? Um. Just really this week, I mean, we've been in the office watching film, you know, every day and just kind of studying them and trying to trying to figure out, you know, what their tendencies are and um, the best way to stop them. Now, Coach, are you up in the box or are you down on the field during games? I'm, I'm up in the box during okay, games. Okay, so, so you realize you're, you're, you guys are facing the uh, preseason – uh, they haven't announced postseason awards yet, but uh, preseason Sooner Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Year that's going to be testing your, uh, your defensive backs. I did not realize that, but <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm up for the challenge. You know, he, he loves to he excited. loves to uh, sling that rock, and uh, so uh, you, you know um, he 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 may be testing you guys a little bit a uh, little bit early, but uh, and often. So uh, you know, it just uh, but but they're excited. You guys are undefeated. So it, yeah. it, tell us about the schedule. You guys played a few of the conference teams twice. Um, but uh, you guys are undefeated, number five national ranking. Um, you guys got a pretty good quarterback in your own right. And, uh, you know, a little bit more about the defense. How's the, how's the D-line? We heard about your offensive line. You got a couple guys that are studs. Yeah, yeah. So our D-line, man, we, we got a lot of guys that are you know, returning starters for the past you know, couple of years. And um, 
they're just they're just a good group of guys. I mean, strong, fast, yeah. athletic, and. Yeah. Now um, who's that? Ta- who's who's behind you there talking, interrupting our interview? Who's that? Um, <laughs> Is that somebody ordering? Stop. What what's going on? Um, it's just people coming in right now to, oh, to okay. get some food. Trying to they're, conduct they're business, Vince. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got to keep the business going. They're hungry, just like we are. That's right. There you go. What's the temperature up there right now? Oh, man. It is pretty cold. Let's just say that. Um, I think it is once in like 40s. Right okay. Now. Okay. And, and, and kickoff today, what are they expecting? About the same 40s, 50s? Oh, man. No, it's, it's 21 degrees right now. Oh, oh okay. Oh, wow. Probably yeah. a little bit of wind chill going on there, too, I imagine. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Makes um, it hard to throw be, the ball. A little bit. Makes the ball a little bit harder to catch as well. So Yeah. How's the surface up there? Is it artificial turf or is it natural grass? Uh, it's uh, artificial turf. Now, Coach Coach Nesbitt talked talk to us a little bit about this. You guys have a beer garden and one of the uh, – are they going to be serving beer this morning in the, so in the end zone? Unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately uh, we were told that with the NAIA regulations that uh, the beer garden is actually going to be closed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. no. No beer garden. Okay, yeah, no. So they'll just have to tailgate that. then uh, in the parking lot before they walk in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's that's one of our biggest uh, landmarks. You know, the beer garden for our games is, you know, getting teams, you know, getting people out there and getting them, you know, a lot of alcohol. In, in oh, there. yeah. <laughs> Get them all nice and sauced up for the game. Yeah. How many are they expecting at the game today? Um, hopefully we can beat our record, and we can hopefully we can have about five thousand. That's, that's that's the plan. That's big. Hopefully we want to sell out, but wow. uh, you never know. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a great one up there today. It sounds like it'll be a packed house as well. Even even though it's cold, that probably doesn't deter a lot of fans. I would imagine, right? They just no, bundle up and bring it on out, huh? Yeah, not at all. Get get your blankets and yeah, your little space heaters and try and try right. and keep yourself warm. Well, Coach Lyons, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure and uh, you know follow us on Twitter, and we'll we'll send updates and things. And uh, if you, ever you guys schedule a game down here, or maybe the next time the team uh, Ottawa yeah. or Arizona Christian heads up there, maybe we'll we'll uh, commando up there and do a little road trip. What do you there think, you go. James? Yeah, yeah, of I'm course, like of course. Yeah, of course. Maybe Thanks get a maybe so try to try to sneak a free meal out of uh, Mr. V's family <laughs> restaurant, so we could do our show up there too. There you go. Kind of like what hey, we did in be, Crete, Nebraska. That'd be awesome. Yes, yeah, sir. That would be awesome. That would be good. Okay, so Mr. V's family restaurant, Caldwell, Idaho. Coach Nick Lyons on the phone with us. Coach Lyons, thank you again, and uh, good luck today. And uh, we will talk soon, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. you guys. Take care now. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, well, that was good. You know, yeah. we got a little perspective of the uh, Caldwell faithful, so that was nice. We try to keep it local, Vince. We do. That's what we do. We're all about the people. Yes. Right? So, yeah. And okay. I didn't say it when he was on. I've-